Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. I'm Don Pettit, and this is the International Space Station Science Garage. And uh, today, uh, Don and I are going to speak with two friends of ours, Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn. So, Tom, you, your last flight wasn't all that long ago. It was about yeah, three years ago. Three years ago. Chris, yours was 12 before years before the accident. We're talking a long, yeah, long time one, ago, right? Oh, one, yeah. So, it was, a, it was a bit of a wait, right? I'm sure it was, it it was, was worth a bunch it. Of years, had, yeah. yeah. I mean, and I just wonder if you guys could contrast the, the short term versus the long term. What that, because you stuck with it for a while, right, to do this. It's, yeah. It was, well, I, it, it I, uh, I did a lot of jobs that I really liked yeah, in between. Yeah, yeah. I was director in Russia for two yeah, years. Yeah, right. And then the day that I handed over to Taco as director of Russia, that was the day of Columbia's accident, in fact, yeah. that day. Yeah. So, um, so then we went through all that, and then I did various branch chief jobs within yeah, CB right, right, and right. worked up and helped run station ops. Yeah, yeah. And then I got assigned as a backup to Bob Thurst, did a whole flow as a backup. Yeah. And then I worked a couple projects and then did a flow, single flow to launch backup, and then eventually yeah. flew. So I liked every job I had. But it was all worth it, right? For oh, you guys had so much, oh I mean, yeah. Amazing. But oh my God. I, I, think, yeah. I think something, uh, if your only joy is in flying in space, you're yeah. doomed in this office because yeah. you don't fly in space very often. Yeah. You better find great joy in, in the everything else you're doing and then maybe you'll even get the fly in space yeah. and fortunately that, that's how i viewed the whole thing yeah. but we had a great time because we did knolls yeah. together we were tent mates in knolls uh so we did national Alter leadership school together yeah. up in the wind ridge mountains mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then um started and off then, and then we did very nemo. frustrating we did nemo really together cool. so we lived in the bottom of the ocean together yeah. Too. We, we found that we had the same birthday. Yes, yeah, it's the 29th of August, same yeah. birthday. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, and so, kidding, really? Yeah. So Mine's the 19th. I'm only 10 days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was really great to be able to have that amount of time together yeah. Uh, yeah. and then end up on the same crew and then yeah. get the whole experience. And, and after our Soyuz had come barreling through the atmosphere and crashing back to Earth and tipping over on its side, and they opened the hatch and my mom pulled out and then looking over at Tom. Looking at you know the two of us yeah. looking at each other going, man, what a ride we've been through. Yeah, yeah. what an experience. Awesome. The same thing, and, and I remember reaching over. Chris was above me because uh, I was we were on our right mm -hmm. right sides. So my shoulders wedged in there, and I'm your whole body weighs you know a thousand times what it normally does. You feel like lead, and you're lying there trying to lift your arm. And I saw up, and Chris was smiling at me. So I just reached up and grabbed the the wrist of his. Uh, with his Soyuz because we popped our gloves yeah. off. Our and, you know, what can you say? Yeah. So we just kind of yeah. smiled at each other. Yeah. Yeah. The same with Cassidy when we came back in from our EVA. Oh, yeah. So did our third one together. He was just still so pumped up. We were sitting there, you know, head first and feet first in the yeah. airlock. And he just went, whap, and hit me in the arm. <laughs> but what else could you do? He was just so <laughs> gassed up about it. This was great. Yeah. You know, that's about all you can do.